show your evil Meg. Duchess urged to write down once more to secure her side of story fully revealed. Meghan Markle has been urged to put pen to paper once more by the publisher of her children's book, The Bench, according to a royal expert. The move would allow Meghan Markle to get her side of the story out after a tumultuous year for her and Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex's children's book, The Bench became a bestseller within one week of its release. The book came from a poem the Duchess wrote for her husband and was expanded into a picture book. Neil Sean discussed the possibility of the Duchess releasing a new book on his YouTube channel. Mr. Sean said, It's interesting because now, as we know next year, there's not just a Tom Bauer book, but there's going to be a plethora of books all detailing the early life and up-to-date shenanigans of the former royal. Her own publisher, which helped release that book, The Bench, the New York Times bestseller, are suggesting it would be a good time to pen one herself. Now, here's what we can tell you first here on the show. This won't be your traditional biography because everyone around her knows that will be way too tricky. There's got to be certain elements that she couldn't speak about, the ongoing battles with the tabloids, the fallout with the father, and of course the half-sister, you get the picture. He added, what they do think would make a very good and sellable book would be that of a pictorial level. So basically lots of pictures where memories are shared, two or three sentences, a couple of paragraphs at best. Megan gets to put her side of the story out in a lighter, sweeter, more succinct way. Now, you have to admire the press team and the marketing team at Penguin Random House, because quite frankly, given the books that are coming out, and given that recent lapse of memory, who's truly going to believe any of these tales? I for one think it would be an interesting book. And of course, it's a very fast way of them making sure they regain some of the huge advance given the fact that the bench didn't really take off that well for Meghan, particularly in Europe. It's also a very testing time for her because if this pictorial affair didn't take off, then more importantly for Meghan, it could be curtains on that publishing career. I for one would truly like to know her version of events because I'm sure they're going to be far more interesting than anything Tom Bauer could certainly dream of. Prince Harry signed a $20 million deal with publisher Penguin Random House after secretly working on his memoirs over the past year. It was later reported that the contract was for a multi-book deal for both Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. In a statement about the memoir, Harry stated, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. While many idolize the British royal family, the institution has been rocked with a plethora of controversies through the years. Many royal scandals have played out in the tabloids, meaning that the world already knows the, at times alleged, sordid details, but there are several moments members of the monarchy probably wish we would forget altogether. From very public affairs to illegal activities to embarrassing moments caught on camera, it's been proven time and again that the Windsors are just like the rest of us, even Queen Elizabeth II isn't free from controversy herself.